Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode. We are up to part 5, the Lin Kuei Palace, and straight off the bat here, we have a fight. So yep, upon entering the Lin Kuei Palace, we immediately get surrounded by a bunch of these Lin Kuei assassins and we need to take care of them. But before I do, let me just bring up the map. So this is what it looks like and all we need to do is make our way to the right. That's it, pretty straightforward. And it's not a very large area, but it's not a very small area either. It's somewhat reasonable in size. There are heaps and heaps of fights like this in the Lin Kuei Palace here. It's pretty full on. You barely get a chance to rest. And with these fights you always seem to get surrounded by heaps and heaps of enemies at once. There's just so many of them. So I'm always finding myself using this special move, the Ground Pound, just to get rid of them. Look how many there are. There's like five or six. It's ridiculous. Might as well shoot out a fireball. Yeah, and they always tend to come packed with a Lin Kuei general, this guy here. <laughs> I think I've killed him. <laughs> oh my god, look how many there are! This is outrageous. Okay, and because I'm always down on my special meter, then a lot of the time I find myself running around breaking open vases and things like that to try and find replenishment orbs. There we go, beautiful. Health, I don't need that, I need special meter bar. Replenishment. Almost done, as you can see by the bar on the right with the skull atop. These have got to be the last two enemies. Take that throw. Last guy, yep. Outstanding. Outstanding! So once you kill them all, a chest appears. Kick it open. And that contains Jade's alternate costume. Yep, that's right, Taven. That is a great costume for Jade. I love it. Jade has got to be my most favourite female character in the Mortal Kombat franchise. I love her. Great moves, great combos. She's brilliant. And our first relic will be located in this vase. Punch it open. There you go, relic number 27. Shang's Stone. Good. Now, whatever you do, don't open this chest because it will contain poison. To prove it, I'll quickly kick it open and roll back. See? Don't get it. It won't kill you outright, but, you know, like I've said before, it will slowly deplete your health. So it does take a bit away. It won't kill you fully, though. Ah, yes, I love this part. We now have a weapon. You have found the Ice Scepter. Freeze and shatter your enemies, and you will gain enough power to break open the door and escape. This is an absolutely fantastic weapon, the Ice Scepter. Because, now let me just pause it for a second. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know I keep saying that whenever you get a weapon to press the X button. The X button with weapons seems to be the go-to button in terms of defeating enemies. Well, for this weapon, the Ice Scepter, that is not the case. What we're going to do here is press circle. Taven will slam the Ice Scepter on the ground. And that sends out like a freeze, freeze wave like that, and it will freeze all enemies within a generous radius, see? And then you go ahead and press the square button, or X button, to shatter them. One hit and they will shatter. Now the difference between the other fights and this fight is with this fight, if you look at the bar on the right, see how the red part is gradually depleting? So. You have to be very quick here about taking care of the enemies. You can't fuck around, otherwise you'll never get through this fight. 
So just constantly slam the Ice Scepter on the ground, freeze the enemies, and then go ahead and shatter them by pressing the square button like that. And that is it. The fight can be over very quickly, as long as you keep using that method. If you go ahead and just press, I mean, if you don't press circle to slam it against the ground and freeze them all, you still can freeze the enemies. I mean, if you press square, you will hit the enemies and it will freeze them. And then you press square again and that will shatter them. So the circle button isn't the only attack that will freeze the enemies, but I'll talk about that a bit later because we do get the Ice Scepter later on here again in the Lin Kuei Temple. 300 coins there in that chest and over in this chest here, kick it open, it will contain Jarek's alternate costume. Yes, Jarek, aka Kano clone, Kano ripoff. Alright, so let's go down this hallway here, kick that open, 500 coins, beautiful. We'll collect all this coinage along the way, and beautiful. This will extend our special meter bar a little bit. It didn't extend it too much, but trust me, any small amount helps with your special meter bar. Especially as we start progressing through the game, as it does get harder. We're in this room now. Let me just grab the coins first. Alright, so as you can see, there's a giant frozen wall here. We need to break that. We need to punch it and shatter it. You can't simply go through this door. As you can see, it's locked. So let's go ahead and break this frozen wall here. Like so. Once you do, a chest appears. Go ahead and kick it open. It'll just contain coins. 500 coins. Now we can go through. As you can see, there is a magnifying glass there. Don't get it straight away. Go left, and you will collect that musical note, the Lin Kuei Palace tune. Then go right for the coin bag. Now get the magnifying glass. And it fixates upon that altar there, which is actually somebody encased in ice. Who is it? Well, let's go ahead and see. You're alive! Uh, what happened? You were encased in ice. Who are you? I am Frost. Where? Sub Zero? Uh, Sub Zero? The medallion! Give me the medallion! You seem to be a bit delirious. Maybe you should. The Lin Kuei will be mine! Hmm, so Frost seems to think we are Sub-Zero. Very bizarre. Fight. She's a very easy character to beat. This fight is absolutely no stress whatsoever. Same strategy, you know how it goes. There's only one difficult fight here in the Lin Kuei Temple, and that's actually the last fight talk about that once we get up to it. But even so, it's still not that bad. I mean, it's no... It's no rain fight, you know what I mean? That fight in Arctica is fucking disgusting. Wow, she almost killed me for a very easy fight. <laughs> Which is no stress at all. She almost killed me. Alright, let me just focus here. Hmm, interesting. Seems to be blocking a lot. Much more than usual, I have to say. Take that parry. Okay, breaker. Hmm, I'm never ready for that last hit because I didn't think it would actually connect. There we go, Frost is taken care of. Taven's final blow knocked Frost from her delirium. You are not the one I seek, she muttered with embarrassment as she fled the chamber. 
Yes, so maybe she finally came to and realized we are not in fact Sub-Zero. Yep, and once you defeat Frost, you gain another super move, another special move called the escape move. Now look, personally, I never, ever, ever used this special move. In my opinion, it's fucking pointless, it's unnecessary. I'll show you what it does. Look. Oh, it's sort of hard to show you. You have to be in the midst of battle for it to actually, you know, show its true colours. But basically, you will just teleport from point A here, for example, to point B here. That's it. You basically just escape enemies' attacks and you use a bit of your special meter bar in doing so. That is bullshit. I prefer just doing this. It's the same fucking thing. Such a pointless, pointless special move. Anyway, if you go behind the altar, there is another relic. Relic number 28, Frost's Mask. Make sure you grab that. And also, before you leave this room, make sure you shatter all these icy tombs here. Because not only will you get some coin bags by doing so, but once you shatter them all, you will see. So just go ahead and break them all here. Oops. Usually a three hit combo will take them out. Coin bag there. Yep, and that makes a chest appear. And it will actually contain Frost's alternate costume, as you can see. I don't like that costume one bit. I don't like it at all. Looks like shit. I don't like the fact that her mask is removed. Not good. Not a fan. <laughs> now this door is open, we can go through. And look, as you can see, the door shuts behind you. So as I always say, make sure you get all the relics, you know, because you can't go back, which is bullshit. And now we're going to get a cutscene. Uh, at last, an empty room. Maybe I can rest? Think again, intruder. You may have bested my Lin Kuei warriors, but you will not get past me. Uh, and you are? I am Sub-Zero, Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. And you are trespassing! Fight! Sub-Zero. So we need to fight him. And yep, Taven, there is no rest for you. Especially in the Lin Kuei Temple here. It's non-stop. Love that costume, Sub-Zero. Very, very good costume. Sub-Zero isn't too bad. Just gotta sort of focus here. Get my groove going. Always keep your distance. I've also discovered... I mean, I haven't discovered. I've known about this kick pretty much the whole time, but I haven't been using it. But if you press back X, Taven will do that nice, fast roundhouse kick. And it will send your opponent flying. Like that. And that's really good because it gives you a lot of breathing room, a lot of distance to follow up with a ground pound attack. I should have been using this kick a lot more frequently. Oh! <laughs> it's a great move, guys. Trust me. And once again, we'll have some more dialogue here with Sub-Zero. Your tattoo? What about it? It resembles the dragon image on the door behind you. Who are you? And why are you here? This must be it. This must be what? This temple was a shrine to my mother before your clan commandeered it. I assure you, it had been abandoned long before we arrived. I realize that. My name is Taven. I merely came here to retrieve something. A gift from my mother. Then tell me, where is this gift? Most likely behind this vault door. The door on the right was unlocked when we first arrived here years ago. There was nothing inside. 
The other door has remained sealed, despite our best efforts to open it. It seems my brother has already been here to retrieve his gift. Strange. That would mean he's been awake for quite some time. I assume you have a key. You could say that. You have your gift. Now tell me, for what purpose would a sorceress leave her son such a powerful set of armor? Apparently, I need it for my quest. Something important is supposed to happen once I complete it, though I do not know what that something is yet. At first, I assumed the quest was nothing more than a game, but I'm no longer certain. What do you mean? A warrior named Rain mentioned something about saving the realms, and I've also been repeatedly attacked by assassins in red. I don't recognize their crest, though it seems vaguely familiar. A dragon, I believe. Do you have any idea who they are? I may. Grandmaster! More intruders have breached the temple! The east entrance! Friends of yours? They are dark warriors, yet they resemble our own Lin Kuei! <laughs> Time to choose sides, friend or foe. Uh, I'll help. Then defend the Lin Kuei Temple. Smash these new intruders! <laughs> I just love Taven's complete indifference towards everything. He's like, Sub-Zero goes, time to choose sides, friend or foe. And Taven's just like, oh, I'll help, I guess. <laughs> he just doesn't want to be involved in any of this shit. You can just tell. He's had enough. So the Lin Kuei Temple now is overrun with these... I don't know if I should call them members of the Brotherhood of Shadow because I'm not too sure if they are, but they certainly resemble them. But they're basically called Shadow Stalkers or Shadow Assassins. And we're going to be encountering quite a lot of them from this point on. You can hear battle between the Lin Kuei and those guys taking place right now but before we go ahead there look at this look at the pattern here of the coins can you see what shape it's in it's in the shape of an arrow pointing towards that statue of your mother go ahead and collect all the coins now the reason why it was in the shape of an arrow and pointing towards the statue of your mother is because it wants you to shoot a fireball at it. Like so, and there you go, look, a relic pops out. Sub-Zero's amulet, relic number 29. If you guys manage to figure that out on your first playthrough, without any help, without any guides, I applaud you. I didn't get it my first time. Kick the chest open, 300 coins, and over here will be Sub-Zero's alternate costume. The Shredder-like costume. Don't really like that costume, but it's certainly better than his alternate costume in Mortal Kombat Deception, where he has the ponytail. Absolutely fucking disgraceful, that costume. So now we can go in here. And look, there's another relic right here to collect. Relic number 30, Katana's Fan. And now that we've found 30 relics, we will net ourselves another unlockable. Congratulations, you unlocked Dagon. So we can now play as Dagon. Beautiful. Also, if you want, you can go ahead and search these dead bodies of the Lin Kuei. Up to you, look at that, one gold. What's the point, you know? The game is interesting like that because it sort of trains you to think that searching bodies is completely and utterly futile. It makes you think it won't amount to anything. But, as has been the case in the past actually, we have found a relic on one of the fallen bodies. I believe it was Kung Lao's hat, that relic. 
and actually we're going to have to search another body up ahead and that will contain another relic. So don't completely write off searching the bodies, that's what I'm trying to say. Yep, so these guys are... Wow, that was dangerous. Shadow Stalkers here, let's take care of them. They tend to have a nasty projectile attack as well if you get too far away from them, which strongly resembles Quan Chi's green skull projectile move. As you can see, they shoot out a red skull projectile at you. It's extremely annoying, you know, if you're fighting one of these Shadow Stalkers and then another one from a fair distance away goes ahead and shoots that at you. Extremely annoying. But overall these guys still aren't that bad to defeat. I'd still term them grunts. They're weak as hell. It can be a little annoying if they surround you in numbers. Goodness me. Yeah, all I'm really doing here is the ground pound in the Lin Kuei Temple. I don't find myself using the fireball projectile too much because, like I said, you just get surrounded by so many enemies and it becomes extremely frustrating when you're trying to do combos on one and, you know, another two or three just start doing combos against you. So I just like to disperse them all doesn't do a lot of damage, the ground pound from this point on. I mean it does technically waste half of their health but still the fireball kills them outright. So kill them all and a chest will appear, whoops wrong side, kick it open and it contains noobs alternate costume. Lovely. So have I gotten all the coin bags? Yep. Might as well just search these bodies here. You can search the ones that are sort of up top there, they don't have to be directly below you. Yeah, I can't reach that one though. Alright, so there's actually another relic in this room on this fallen body. Go ahead and search it. Hmm, you'll notice that it says nothing found. Try again. 25 coins this time. Interesting. What if we try it again? Yep, so you've got to search that body there three times before this relic pops out. Grab it, and that is relic number 31, Liu Kang's armband. <laughs> Once again, that's another relic I did not get on my first playthrough. Who would actually sit there searching bodies multiple times after, you know, if you search a body the first time and it says nothing found, would you really go ahead and search it again? I don't know, maybe you would, but I wouldn't. I'd just move on. So that is what I would deem a very cryptic location for a relic. Very cryptic indeed. But that's it for that room. Let's go through here. Oh no. This part of the Lin Kuei Temple is the absolute worst part. Whew. Let me just collect all these coins before I talk about it. So as you can see, look, activate the two switches. We can't go through this big door yet. We need to remove the bars that lock it in place. And to do so, we need to activate two switches, two levers, should I say. And those two levers are down a long passageway once you break this wall here, and another long passageway once you break this wall here. But in fact, there are actually four long passageways to go down. Another two here. Why would you go down all of them? Well, some of them do contain relics and other useful items. So, I'm going to be going down all four passageways. It's bullshit because you don't really get a checkpoint once you go down the end of each passageway. It's hard because as you can see, there's a flaming fireball that just constantly fires towards you. And look, look at how quick it is. You don't really have much breathing room. As soon as you go after that one, look, it's there already, you know. 
Fucking bullshit. Look at that. It was right in my face. You have to be extremely quick here. Otherwise that fireball will kill you in one hit and you'll have to start again. Like I said, very, very nasty with the checkpoints here. Relic number 32 on Naga's helmet. That's why you're going to want to go down this passageway. And also because there's a golden chest here which will contain the Elder God's female armor boots. Alright, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go one by one here into each alcove. When I'm feeling pretty pretty ballsy then I just start rolling up ahead but that can be quite dangerous because you tend to roll diagonally off to the side in some weird direction you don't want to roll in and a lot of times I've gotten stuck on like the corner of a pole like this for example and bang the fireball has just absolutely decimated me into pieces now, I just want to mention one thing. Look, if I go down here, see how the fireball comes out? Watch, it can come all the way out, see? So if a fireball follows you out and you start punching this to go down the next passageway, it will kill you. So as soon as you come out, all right, from a passageway like this, go this way, avoid it. And once you're out, no more fireballs will spawn. Just take note of that. Okay, passageway number two. Let's do it. Fuck, missed the coin. I'm getting it. Getting all the coins. Now, what's interesting is if you die by these fireballs twice, if you get killed twice, the game, I find, tends to slow down the fireball's speed after that. So on your third attempt, the fireball speed is much slower, making this a hell of a lot easier. So, if you actually want, you can purposely get killed twice by the fireballs, and that will make navigating through these passageways a lot easier, a lot less stress from the fireballs. Okay, kicked open that chest there, which contains Striker's alternate costume. I actually quite like that costume, he looks like a SWAT team member. Very cool costume indeed. Break the vases, go over here, and grab the coinage as well as a life extension orb. Beautiful. Wait for the fireball to pass, and I'm going to go in this alcove, straight to the next one, then the next one. <laughs> this part, my god, I can't even stress how fucking dangerous it is. It's horrendous. Very, very nasty, but I'm playing it extremely safe here. That's why I seem to be getting through it okay, but I haven't reached a checkpoint yet, so I'm, I'm not that comfortable just yet. There will be a checkpoint, I believe, once you exit this. Fuck, that was damn close, that fireball. Yeah, there will be a checkpoint once you exit this third passageway, I believe. Or once you get to the end of it, I'm not sure. We'll see. If I die now, I just... I think I'm just going to shut the game off. That's how angry I'll be. Ooh, I went a bit late there. Just made it there. Okay, so here is the first lever that we need to pull. That will remove some of the bars from that giant door outside, not all of them. As you can see, it removes two bars, two more to remove, and we have to go down the fourth passageway and pull down on the second lever to do that. There will also be a relic in this vase here in the corner. Break it open. Relic number 33, Noob's Stars. I need to get out of this passageway, safe and sound, in order to get a checkpoint. I am absolutely shitting myself here. I cannot die. I can't. It cannot happen. 
Oh god, thank goodness. There we go, checkpoint. Whew! Okay. Fourth passageway, let's go down. Fireballs are still coming at me extremely fast. That was very close there. There's just barely enough room to make it, you know? Like, look how fast these fireballs are coming. It's outrageous. Look at that! Whoa! I'm surprised I didn't die there. I, I felt like I actually touched it. I'm pretty sure I did touch some of the fire particles, that's for sure. Okay, gold chest here, kick it open for the Elder God's male armor boots. And over here will be the second lever, so let's pull that down. And that will remove the remaining two bars from that giant door. And we can now go through. Thank God. Just got to get out of this passageway safe and sound. Should be able to do it. I mean, this is the easy way, the safe way. If you're feeling ballsy, if you're feeling cocky, go ahead and do the forward roll. But like I said, it can get nasty if you get stuck on like a pole or a twig or the crevice of something. And you know, you will panic. You won't have time to react. That fireball will come and kill you. And you will be completely fucking demoralized. I can guarantee it. Oh, and also, I can't even believe I didn't mention this yet. As you can see, Taven is wearing a new piece of armor. Sorry guys, I just totally forgot about that. You know, I tend to do quite a lot of practice runs before I do the final recording here, so... Because I've played through this Lin Kuei Palace area so many times prior to doing this, it just became sort of a, a standard thing. But yeah, that's sort of like the gift from Taven's mother, this piece of armor. So, this is the only time where Taven looks visually different. We won't get any more pieces of armor. That's it. This is how Taven will look from this point on. And we'll go to this green aura here for a cutscene. And once again we get surrounded by a bunch of these shadow stalkers or shadow assassins. Now the key thing here is to take out the one that is wielding that ice scepter. That's the guy you want to kill because you want that weapon. You want the ice scepter as soon as possible. So kill that son of a bitch. There it is and he drops it. Pick it up. And look, I'll press triangle and show you a different attack. He does an uppercut. See it freezes them and it sends them flying. This is not a bad attack if you want to do this, but I just prefer doing that, freezing the ground and then pressing square. Or X if you want, you can kick him, doesn't matter. Yep, so it does break after a while. I think it's after you've defeated a set amount of these enemies with it. But don't worry. Another guy with an ice scepter spawns, and you kill him, grab it, and rinse and repeat. That is it. There it is. Grab it. Freeze the ground. There we go. Does seem to have quite a long range, this ice wave that it sends out. Man, they just spawn almost instantaneously. Come on, break them. Fuck. He went and hit the other guy close by. There's the guy with the ice scepter. Fucking hell, that pisses me off. You're in the middle of a combo. And some other son of a bitch goes ahead and starts hitting you. I hate that. How do you how do you deal with that effectively? I don't even know. Like, you've just gotta like do one punch, block, roll. I don't know, it's a pain in the ass, but you know. The battles here, the combat, the brawling. I don't even block that much because 
and I've said this before, when you kill enemies you gain health and special meter bar, so it doesn't really matter. And here's smoke. You will not escape. <laughs> no introduction, no I'm smoke, no you're trespassing, no nothing. Just you will not escape. Well that's not a good introduction, I don't like that. And for that, you are gonna die, smoke. Yeah, that's it, jump towards me. Do it again, good. Take that. Flawless victory. Fuck yeah. Let's see if we can get a double flawless victory here on smoke. Fuck. Christ almighty. Hmm, okay. Smart. Again? No. Sometimes when you do the ground pound against Smoke, he will do, like, yeah, that teleport up cut. Extremely, extremely annoying. He doesn't do it all the time, though, so you can deal with it. But when he does do it, it just sort of, I don't know, it just pisses you off a bit. Hmm, this is interesting. I could fucking die here. Normally I don't lose any fight in the Lin Kuei Temple. So this will be interesting to see what happens. Oh yeah, he's finished. And I should be using that that kick a lot more frequently. <laughs> there we go. Such a great kick. Defeated, Smoke teleported away. He may have lost, but Smoke's master would know of this interloper who had ruined their plans against the Lin Kuei. Go away. But that is not all. We still have to fight another combatant a bit later on. But there you go. Once you defeat Smoke, you will unlock his alternate costume via this chest here. Make sure you get that. And is there any more coins? I don't believe there is. Good. And straight ahead will be relic number 34, Smoke's Mask. And that is it. There are no more relics to collect in the Lin Kuei Temple here. Go forward to the green aura. I love this room because it's very similar to that room that was on the Tekken and Warship, where you just keep uppercutting them into the spikes. I just like it a lot here because look at all the blood... Look at the blood dripping down when you uppercut them into the spikes. I mean, how much blood do these guys have? Look at that! It's like raining blood, you know what I mean? It's fucking awesome, I love it. Look at this, it's a shower of blood. Taven should be red now. His armor should be like soaked in blood. Yeah, just keep dodging those flaming skull projectiles. And here we will get another cutscene. What were those? You will join me or you will die. We shall see. Noob Cybot. So yep, we need to take care of Noob Cybot now. This will be the final fight. He can be rather difficult to defeat, but like I said, he's still... It's still no rain, you know, all the fights in the Lin Kuei Temple here are reasonably okay. This is the hardest one, requires the most focus, but it's still not too bad. Yeah, sometimes like smoke if you try and do the ground pound. Wow, he's invisible. What the fuck? I love the name of his weapon, Troll Hammer. Noob Cybot, you fucking troll. Get out of here. Okay, so I defeated him on the first round. Very good. 
fight. That's boosted my morale a bit. I've still got two breakers, so happy about that. <laughs> God, I love that kick so much. <gasps> oh, no. Get that troll hammer away from me. You troll. I can't stop saying troll now. Alright, he's done. Just goodbye, thank you. And that is it, guys. We'll get a cutscene here, and that will conclude the Lin Kuei Palace. I should thank you. You probably saved my life. Who is he? He doesn't seem human. He is Noob Saibot, a warrior from the Nether Realm. He is my brother. Your brother? Why did he try to kill you? He was corrupted long ago, but now I have the chance to save him. The Lin Kuei owe you much, Taven. In return for your aid, I will help you find the men who have been hunting you. They are called the Red Dragon, a clan of mysterious warriors. I can't help you get inside their base, but I can reveal its location. Where? Charred Mountain. It's unfortunate that Sub-Zero's brother has chosen a path of darkness. I wish I could help him remove the corruption that fills Noob Saibot's soul. But now that I know the location of the Red Dragon Stronghold, I must return to Orin. He will be able to transport me there. Maybe then I will find some answers as to why I am being pursued. David, you've acquired a suit of armor. It's the item Mother left me to help with the quest. Are you ready to begin your search for Blaze? Not yet. The warriors in red ambushed me again outside the temple. I met someone there named Sub-Zero. He gave me information that could lead me to them. Who are they? He said they're called the Red Dragon Clan. His Lin Kuei recently located their stronghold. It's in Charred Mountain. I would like to visit them before I search for the Firespawn. They may be the ones who stole my father's sword. Will you send me there? As you wish. Alright, so I'm going to leave it here guys. I will save this for the next part. This area is called Charred Mountain. So I'll leave it here and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.